everyone, this is uh, Antonio from uh, Random Stuff, and this is an update to my LG G2 on stock ROM 4.2.2. So let's just quickly go and check that uh, about phone and software information. As you can see, this is just a stock one that I got here in the UK. Now, as you can see at the top, you've got the, the usual black uh, status bar, and at the bottom, you've got the usual black navigation bar but on this screen as you can see they are transparent now I'll talk about that in a second and links will be below the video uh, for you to look into further uh, lately I've been playing around with uh, lots of uh, different um, uh, ROMs I've uh, mainly tried the Moki uh, night, uh, weeklies uh, uh, ROM uh, sorry nightly ROMs and um, the uh, slim ROM weeklies the Cyanogen mod and the obviously the PA Paranoid Android, which is probably my favorite one. But the Moki, uh, Moki, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, is the one that um, looked more stable and it looked quite nice on my device. Now, one of the reasons why I've um, I've left the uh, the idea of going on to 4.4.2 uh, KitKat is. The, the fact that there is a big showstopper for me, and that is the Wi-Fi. All these ROMs, when I try them at home, or whether I'm at um, a friend's house, or in a supermarket, in a, in a shopping center, the Wi-Fi will work. But when I'm at my workplace, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. And I believe it's something to do with the, either with the B, the G, or the N connection, or it could be something to do with the way the uh, device is registered on the router. Um, uh, with the MAC address, not entirely show, uh, sure. I used to have these uh, problems on my uh, S2 uh, when I was on the S2, and uh, at, at the time the Jelly Bam was my favorite ROM, but I couldn't use it because it was just great when I was home and away. But at work, it wasn't. Now I spend, you know, about eight hours a day at work, and I need a Wi-Fi that works great. And the only way I can get the 4.4.2 uh, at the moment to work is if I have uh, a special Wi-Fi set up just for me, which um, I can, but I'm not too near it, and so the connection is not good. So for me, it's a showstopper. But enough about that. The um, one of the users um, suggested to me, why don't you use um, Exposed Network to do the customization on your Cyanogen mod? Which is true, and um, I, you know, I had used exposed network before in the past uh, on the even on the s2 I used it um, but um, I've just done it now again and as you can see here I've got the exposed um, installer installed and you can see here the framework uh, you can see that it's active and um, this is a really great piece of kit because as, uh, as you will probably know um, I'm not an expert but it, it does not interfere with the ROM itself and you can reverse anything that you do by just uninstalling it. Uh, the modules are here and I've only got one of the G2 in there and the tweak box is the one that I've uh, decided to go to the Google Play Store, download it and install it and it appears there in the modules. There's lots of modules, you can put Halo, you can put um, uh, Pi, uh, you know, there's many, many things that you can do. Uh, it really, really is an excellent piece of, um, of uh, software. Um, but what I did do, I went on to the Google Play and I downloaded this one, the G2 settings tweak box. And um, I was torn between this one and the other one, which is available only for the G2, obviously. And the reason I went for this one is because um, it would allow me to do some uh, call tweaks and primarily enable the call recording natively from the actual dialer. So from within the dialer, uh, I got the option to record the call in fantastic quality and it and it stores it for me and that is really really important for me that I can record a call when I need to it's a um, you know I've got an advanced phone and I want to be able to do whatever I want um, and this is one of the things that was missing from um, the KitKat rooms but I'm not sure whether this would work in uh, CyanogenMod mod if I if I have uh, the call the, the tweaks from uh, G2 but I decided to pay for this application uh, primarily because you know if you want to do some of the uh, some of the cool features you the great the grayed out features uh, you have to pay one euro to this particular developer and I have paid a euro straight away because I wanted 
as you can imagine, most of us want the status bar and the um, navigation bar, so the navigation bar at the bottom, the state bars at the top. We want to have the transparent top and bottom, so when you're on the launcher. So if I come out of this, you can see that it's um, transparent at the top and transparent at the bottom, which looks fantastic, and it's what we want. Um, if I go to, uh, let's go back to the G2 settings. One of the other things that it can do is in the notification tweaks, you can hide the full battery. Uh, it's not the one I want to show you. On the lock screen. Uh, well, uh, where's it gone? Tweaks, quick settings. So you can have the quick settings at the top completely disappear. So that whole row here, you can have that disappear. You can have the brightness disappear. You can have the uh, volume disappear. One of the things that the other G2 tweaks uh, would allow me to do, and this one doesn't, and I've uh, sent an email to the, uh, to the developer. He responded pretty quickly saying that he can do something like this and he will try, and imp he will try to implement this in his next release or when he can. And that is, if you press on the settings button here, it would be nice, as you can do this in the other G2 tweaks, to be able to make the status, sorry, to make the brightness and the volume disappear and then reappear again by by just pressing it on here on this screen. If I want to do it with the tweaks that I've purchased uh, here, I would have to basically come back to here and take it off and take it back on. Uh, another cool feature about the, the theme tweaks from this particular developer is, is that it's live. So all you need to do is just twist the screen and the changes will be um, uh, seen immediately. For some things, you will have to reboot those in order to see them. So it's got loads of loads of things. You know, I'll, I'll just quickly show you. If I hide the volume and the uh, and the brightness, um, if I come down, you see they're gone. Put them back on. Oops, and they're back again. So it's it's really really cool. And I think this gives us, um, you know, 4.2.2 users quite a lot of uh, um, functionality and uh, customer customization capabilities, uh, which should um, should be enough really until 4.4.2 is out from LG. So it will be uh, working perfectly. Um, I'm really happy with this setup, and um, I will post all the links below. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's great. So I hope this has helped um, any of you who are thinking about using the Expose network on your G2. And um, until the next video, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Cheers. Bye.